guys um, my name is Hertha and we just moved to Finland from Austria or actually I am a Finn but my family they are all Austrians we have been in Turku now for three months obviously I was here before already for 20 years but now as a family we have been here for three months it has been mostly really nice time of course there has been some some problems or something that hasn't been that nice and now I'm gonna tell you things what have surprised us or what what was new for us or maybe things uh, which are different than in Austria or uh, things we didn't even know that those kind of things exist and first of all the weather the weather of course it was uh, summer as we arrived but we were really surprised that it was so warm that even we adults could swim in the sea. Usually uh, children are swimming everywhere. But that it was in still until September so warm. That was a really nice surprise. And then still in September it was also really nice and beautiful. And here in Turgu um, it has surprised us that if the weather forecast is saying rain, 100% rain, it's it's clearing and then it's sunny. So the clouds are moving really fast. And Stefan was thinking that this uh, year in Turku, it's gonna be only a gap year between uh, Austria and, uh, and the farm. So he wasn't looking at all how how is it actually in Turku. He was positive, really surprised. He likes the nature a lot, but uh, here around Turku it's very beautiful. Um, what's difficult for him is the language. He has been learning already a lot and learns every day more, but it really makes him crazy sometimes. And I do understand the Finnish language is crazy. I was really surprised um, how nice the people are, how polite and um, so helpful. Even uh, even people you don't know. What's also nice is that you're not that formal with the people. Uh, even the agencies and the schools, uh, they are just calling you with your first name and you're not a ma'am or something like that. Also in the school, the people aren't that formal. You can just write the teacher and ask if you have something in mind or if you see her or him outside of the school, you can just talk with them like normal people. And then the school is um, totally different than in Austria. The days are longer because the kids are having lunch already in the school. And then if they are staying um, longer, they get also a snack in the afternoon. So they're not learning um, more stuff or having more uh, learning, but they're having more breaks. And because they're eating there, they can stay also longer there. There are also other uh, subjects to learn already in the first school the kids can can choose some subjects they are learning and that's really nice the school in Finland is um, a, like I said it's a bit different it's a bit uh, more modern it's um, they are not learning so old things like in Austria and what's also nice what's totally different than in Austria during the last two years if someone's sick he's just sick and nobody's asking if, if somebody made uh, three tests or um, if they're sure that it's not 
that and that. It's really nice that um, also the teacher, she can also be just sick. The only thing with the people here, uh, what's difficult for me is that they are speaking Turku dialect. And sometimes I really don't understand it because uh, it's there are s some things which are totally different than in uh, I come from middle Finland and I guess only the people here on the coast Turku and so on in the near of Turku are speaking um, that way so for example they say um, I would call him um, but they mean I called him and sometimes I'm like so you would do something or you did already something. So this kind of stuff. Then the Finnish apartments have some some surprising or weird or crazy or nice things. Um, um, uh, but things which are different than in Austria. Like the doors. You have two doors in your in your apartment. First, the first door, and then another door for the noises from the hallway. Then, what very many apartments have as well, sauna. Mm -hmm. It's also a bit weird to have a sauna in your apartment, but also nice. And what's also very nice is that you are not having that much uh, calcium oxide in the water, so your bathroom isn't that white all the time, even if you're not cleaning it that often in Austria or in Tyrol. I don't know if it's everywhere in Austria, but especially in Tyrol, it was uh, really bad. I can remember as we were cleaning our apartment for the last time, I cleaned the bathroom and then the next day I had to clean it again because it just went with this calcium oxide so that's really nice. Then there are also some things which are normal in the kitchen here in Finland like a cupboard for the dishes and most of the the apartments are having a really old woman, or they are not that old, but they are just looking like that. Then, what's also different is uh, that the shops are they can decide when when they have open. So there are shops which are always open, like uh, twenty four seven, and that's nice because if we are uh, somewhere in the forest or something like that I sometimes think oh it's already so late mm, if uh, if we can make it before the shop uh, is closed uh, in our neighbor house is uh, a shop and it's open until midnight I guess so that's nice but not that nice is that you can buy alcohol only between 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. But um, I don't, I don't need that <laughs> that much. But it would be nice if you are, if you are going to, to the shop uh, in the morning and then you think, oh, I'll just take a beer with me. But then realize, no, no, I don't. And you don't get any wine or something uh, stronger in the normal shop. You have to go to Alcon, which is a state-owned monopoly for um, alcohol. So, a really, really silly thing. What's nice is that every shop has its uh, self-service um, cashier. So, you don't have to wait that long. You can just go to the self-service and make everything by yourself. And what's also 
different is that the shops are full with uh, stuff. And sometimes I'm thinking, oh, how can I ever find a right uh, dairy product or something like that? Because there are like 10 different kind of uh, with 5%, 10%, uh, and then with uh, no lactose, so blah, 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 everything. And I'm like, oh, I just want a normal thing. Where is it? But it's also nice to have so many options, so I don't complain. It's also nice that uh, at the bus you can buy your ticket with um, just with uh, with your bank card. Um, I don't know how is it in other countries. Maybe the other countries are also so um, modern, <laughs> but Austria wasn't. And bus tickets were sometimes uh, really hard to get. Then I used to think that compared to Austria, Finland doesn't have that many uh, federal holidays, but I was wrong. Finland that, uh, just doesn't have as many uh, church holidays uh, as Austria, but otherwise both countries have as many. But what Finland has are the flag days. There are nine compulsory flag days, meaning that the government agencies and institutions have to flag. And in addition, there are 15 other flag days. So this was a bit surprise for us. Uh, especially for Stefan, because in Austria you don't see Austrian flags that much. And here you see the Finnish flag really often, because 9 plus at least 15 days, it's really a lot. These are just some things which, um, which are making your, your days easier, and but uh, they are not. Important. Just funny to notice some differences. I hope you liked the video. If so, you know what to do. <laughs> and if you got some questions, just ask. Otherwise, see you next time. Bye.